people, it might be time to go home. I might be wearing this. The oldest living bellboy in the world. Hello, my name is Frank the bellboy. Does that sound kind of like a porno? No, it doesn't, does it? <laughs> In today's episode, how do you do it? Welcome. As you can see, the sty is back. It doesn't hurt. It's not that swollen. It's just red in a lovely shade of, I don't know. Anyway, I slept really late. Really, really late. I thought I was sort of, when I was waking up, I was sort of, oh, might just get up. It's uh, however early it is. And then sort of oh, half past 11. So I'm off to the theatre now to continue the work. We are not having any shows for a, at least a month, but we are going in and do, you know, maintenance and stuff like that. So join me as I maintain. So people, it's, uh, the sun is out and so are all the people. I'm gonna show you what happens when I just pass. Okay, here we go. Quite crowded. So here we go, people. I'm not afraid to be all alone in the theatre. It is kind of comforting. As long as I'm not... No, I don't know any place in the theatre. Well, the, the attic might be a little scary. So since I'm all alone here at the theatre, I thought you might help me amuse myself while working. Because I, I, I don't have that much sort of, you know, content to show you. But I thought about one thing that would be kind of fun. Long time ago, we sort of, I got this joke book and we sat around a table and read jokes to each other. And then we stopped just before the punchline and we sort of tried to get which one of us has had the best punchline without knowing the joke. So I thought I'd do the same thing with you. Tell a joke, not tell the punchline and then ask you, my viewers, my funny eclectic viewers for the punchline. And then of course, in the end of the day, I will tell you that the, the, the punchline I thought would be the best. I also think I need to look funny while doing it, right? Yeah. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. I like this game. Please write in your funny answers. I will do some ironing in the meantime. In the meantime. Okay, so remember when I said I was all alone in the theatre? I am not. The whole, everyone in front of the theatre, at the, do you say the front of the theatre? Well, that part, the one the ushers, the ushers are in, cleaning, organising, doing stuff. So, those voices I heard was not in my head. They were actual voices. So, oh God, this looks, doesn't hurt. It's just red. Stupid, 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 stupid. Anyway, I thought I'd show you my workspace because some of you might not have seen it. So this is a room. You come in, wait, you come in like this. I'm going backwards. Oh, this is interesting. Anyway, so here we are. Here's my little kitchenette, which is, I'm the only one in this whole, yeah, in the whole house. Even the bosses don't have their own fridge and their own sink. I do. I think it has to do with this used to be a, a dressing room. No, maybe not. No, no, I don't know why. I also got this gorgeous thing here. This used to belong to a haberdashery or something, I don't know. Some sort of, because, you know, they have different stuff. Now I have stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. I got this applique. Ribbons of gold. God, what do I do? Payette. Different ribbons, black ribbons, silver ribbons, 
I don't know, fringes. Uh, yeah, the sad part is we never use them. We sort of might use them a little bit, but this theatre, we don't make the clothes here because usually there's a sort of designer who comes in and does it. And that designer has his or hers own atelier. So they might come here looking for stuff. A lot of like, oh, I need something. Oh, yes, we have it. Epaulettes. But, um, yeah, mostly stockings, socks, suspenders. What? Oh, um, fishnet stockings, gloves, long gloves, opera gloves, handkerchiefs. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Just shoot them at me. This is clothes that's not used in the show. They are supposed to go up into the attic and somehow I procrastinated and uh, here they are. Anyway, <laughs> this is my ironing board. This is quite funny. This is when we started the previous productions, uh, Sos Mihim and Me and Christian, the other dresser, we had to sort of have this so we can remember the names because some of them were really new. Most of them we never worked with before. So we wrote their names, so not to be embarrassed and having to work, ask them, what's your name again? And now I might have to look them up again, because it's been a two years since we worked together. So, belts. This is sort of jewellery, custom jewellery in all these boxes. And these are scraps of fabric that we don't want to throw away, but we have no use for them. It's not like... I mean, it's not big scraps. It's like, this is a really interesting work, piece of sort of paillette, but you can't really make anything out of it. We just save it because it feels, uh, well, you might need it. I make, make a quilt out of sequins. Can I do that? No, I can't. Anyway, now it's time to iron the shirts of the show. We're not having a show for over a month, but I sort of... I. Watch them yesterday and now I'm going to iron them and hang them in their dressing room so everything is ready when we come back. Or I will be here, but when the actors come back. So, shirt ironed, socks sorted. Let's go and put them in their place. This is one way of putting them in their place. Don't you be stuck up! That's Robert's. That's Jonas's. That's both of Ulf's and that's Gustav's. I'm not going to film the socks, but you can, well, can just imagine socks being delivered to the dressing room. Do not, oh, this is how you turn it off. By the way, this is the stage. And curtain is down, and things are just been moved around. Hmm. Oh, I can see this. Usually, this is an elevator and it's up, so we can just sort of walk over to there. But now these are down because the elevator's down. Elevator's going down, down, down. Do you want to see that room? I might show you later. People, it might be time to go home. I might be wearing this. The oldest living bellboy in the world. Hello, my name is Frank the bellboy. Does that sound kind of like a porno? No, it doesn't, does it? By the way, coming up, me and Magnus drinking gin, me at my place, he at his place, FaceTime on. People, let the face timing begin. I'm call calling Magnus. Oh, look, this looks quite fantastic. It looks really worse than it is. 
Answer the damn phone. Oh, and he did. Bonjour. Bonjour. Of the internet, I just want to show you my dinner. It's tempeh fried in hoisin sauce and uh, gao and vegan mayo sauce and rice and salad stuff. Yeah. Someone is very... Have you seen this? Look at this. Oh, sorry. Look at that. Can you see my... F <laughs> Look at my lovely food. Beautiful. Well, this is what's going on. Magnus and I are each at our homes making each other... No, making ourselves a sapphire martini, which is this. Let's see now. So... Two dashes of blue curacao, two dashes of dry vermouth, six centiliters of gin. And there you are, done. Look at me. Mine looks really weird. It's sort of... What? But I think, because I didn't have proper gin, I had orange-flavoured gin. <laughs> so, so that is, might... is that coloured? Yeah. It's, it's pink. Oh. oh, that's why it... Cheers. Oh, this... Cheers. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, it's strong. It's good. It is. Mm. Yeah, but that's the thing. I, I, I sort of have like cocktails. Are they very licorice like? Cocked, cocktails? Yeah, like cocktails are very much licorice. L liquor. What? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> licorice. Very much liquor in them. There's, there's not so many. So. You don't blend them with like a lot of other stuff. It's very, I mean, this oh, is dry vermouth and gin. I think there's, I think there's different cocktails, but there's long drinks and long drinks, I think are most like. They mix it with, with uh, orange juice. Yeah. Because uh, gin and tonic, and yeah, gin and tonic is, is, it's a cocktail, but I think it's a long drink is as well. a long drink? Yeah. But I think it's a cocktail, isn't it? I think they're all cocktails. Because these are sort of, this is called martinis, and I'm at, I think martinis are really... Uh, the, the, so we started out with this drink, and then we just wondered a little bit about the, the glass. Why is it shaped like it is? And Magnus started doing some detective work. And now we are really in this rabbit hole of how to mix a drink and shake or stir or mix or whatever. And what is a highball and what is a cocktail glass? We are learning so much. Deep in the, we're deep in the struggles. Magnus was trying to say that he, he was going to make a drink called Fact Sheet. And then I told him, I think it's not the name of the drink, it's the name of the fact sheet. And then he sort of lost it all. I'm <laughs> making a gin fizz. So what's the fact sheet? <laughs> going to kill myself. Bronx <laughs> cocktail oh. is what it's called. I think it's. I think I've made that. I can't remember. No, so probably not. Probably. <laughs> See you when I got a drink in my hand. What's your drink of choice? Choice of drinks? Uh, is, the, drink. is this the, the fact sheet? Is this no. the fact sheet? <laughs> called, also called... Bronx cocktail. Yeah, and what's in it? It's a... Uh, Six centiliters of gin, six centiliters of orange juice, one centiliter of dry vermouth, and one centiliter of sweet vermouth. And all put all in a shaker with a lot of ice and shake it until your hump dry. And then... <laughs> your hump dry? And then... Until... What, what do you say? And then shake it until you see the morning again, until the sunset goes down. Yeah, until the cows come home. Cows? Yes. Until the cows come home. Oh, until the cows go home. Come and home. Then, huh? For a, come yeah. home. Come home. Oh, God, now I've got to show you video. Is it good? If you could change anything, it would be not so much alcohol. No, I think, I think actually the driver move is what... Oh. Tilt me over. Because driver move is very... Sweet vermouth is, is much nicer, I uh. think, than driver. Driver move is sort of like a... It has a very distinct ah, 
Yep. Yeah. It's dry. Yeah. So I, I would, I would, I would, I would do the same drink again, but without the ah. one centiliters of dry vermouth. So let's make the next drink. Uh, what would you call that drink then? Not Bronx. Not cocktail. Bronx. You would call it. Oh, New Jersey cocktail. New Jersey. <laughs> So speaking of I can go and I till the cows come home I had to show him I could go and singing with Judy Garland. I'll make his impression of Judy Garland singing. I could go on singing till the cows come home. So people Magnus is watching this video from YouTube from his home and I'm watching it from my home drinking a gin fizz. If you want to see this, I think they're uploaded on Magnus' YouTube channel. So we've been ha watching ourselves and having the time of our lives. Now it's time to say goodbye. Time to... Say goodbye. Talk, yeah, talk to you tomorrow. Oh, what's that? Oh, orange. Goodbye. So people, let's brush our teeth, let's not shower, let's go shopping. Let's Today's episode. So it's over and it was total rubbish. He kicked her off the off the off the roof. She died by being kicked off the roof. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.